So now that we have our character, we've worked with our selection sets and our uh, control shift for our global transform mode, started posing our character, taking a look at some animation sliders and our locator. Um, let's actually uh, take a look at adding a couple more objects in here. So if we want to add a table and chair, how do we go about doing that? And it's essentially the same setup that we went through for Electra. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit tab and type in F-I-L-E and we'll grab a file. Now in here, I'm just going to grab this and we can see I have some assets already. So I'm just going to grab a dining table hit accept there and if I put the display on there we can see that we have the dining table on here and I'm just going to hit escape from here so that we're not in the animation state right now just so we can look at the table uh, itself now the next thing we're going to do is tap tab and uh, SCEN and we again we'll get to apex scene and last time we did it add character for lecture but this time we're going to do scene add prop and what this will do is this will give us a point that we can start animating with. If you wanted a table with a full rig, you, could pro you should probably uh, build a rig for it. But this is allows you to be able to uh, not know anything about rigging, being able to start animating with the table and using that uh, control for doing other things such as ragdoll. Um, but the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to take this and plug this in here. And in our scene add prop, again, we're going to rename it and we're just going to name this table. And if you look at the parameters in here, we have a few options. So if I put the display on here and just hit enter, now you can see that we have our control. It's a torus and we can change the color. We can make that yellow if we want. We can change the torus to be a box, a ball. There's a few options in here. I'm just going to leave this on torus and we can do with the shape offset. We can actually just start changing it so you can scale it down a bit. If you want to move it, you could do that as well. We'll just leave it there. We'll get to Ragdoll eventually, and uh, don't worry about the rest position right now. That's just for getting uh, your starting point, and this all works for this. So now we have a table in here. But if I take a look at um, our scene animate, we just have Electra. So how do we put that table in there? Well, again, what we can do is just follow this orange line that we have here. So if we plug this in here, and then we plug this in here, now you can see the orange line plugging in, plugging in, goes scene animate. And now in our scene animate, we have not only Electra, but if you look at this, we have a table. And we could turn the control on or off or display on or off as well. So really quickly, uh, we've now just added a table into the scene. Now, what I can also do is if I select this, uh, this file, and if I hold down Alt and left click and drag it over and then release, you can see that I've just copied that. You can also use control C or in control V if you want to do it. And in this case, I'm going to pick the dining stool and I'm going to hit accept. Now we'll just hit enter on this and you can see where the dining stool, you can't see anything, but that's because this was built in a different spot. It wasn't built in the origin. Instead of adding a scene bad prop and trying to move it out there, what we can just do is use uh, some, uh, a saw, which is called center. So this is where knowing some of the SOPs, a few SOPs can uh, really help you out here. So if I just take this file and I plug it in there and we take a look at this, um, <clears throat> you can see, let me just reload this geometry. Oh, sorry, I put it into the wrong uh, piped in, put it in there. You can see that it's now um, at the origin, but obviously we want it on the ground. So we can just take the justify Y and put none. And now we have that in there right in the spot for us to ready to use. And we'll do the same thing, tab, scene, add prop, apex scene, add prop, add that in, plug it into the left side here. We will name this uh, chair. We can go in here, we can change the color to be, say that. We can change this to be a box on there instead of the, and we can just scale this box up a little bit, make it easier to see. And there we go, now we have that. And we do the exact same thing. We just plug this one into this orange there, and we plug this one into the scene animate. And now when we look at the scene animate, now we can have our chair in there, and we have our table in there, and we have Electra. So really quickly, we're able to uh, just be able to use our asset. In this case, this is a character, which is Electra. This is um, the table, this is the dining stool. We add a character or we add a prop and we change uh, the name on it. 
Uh, oh, sorry, that was the center. Then we add the prop, and then we go in there. So it's just, you can see it's just following this orange line as it goes into our scene animate. So next, what we'll take a look at, and you can see when we do it, it creates a little set already for this, so you can turn these things on or off. And one last thing, uh, just to mention, if you want to organize your scene, maybe you have a few different things. If you select a node, if you hit Z, now you can actually change the shape of these nodes as you want um, in there. So if you prefer files to be a different shape, you could do that. Um, if we, we can also hit C and we can add a color on there. So if you want to color code everything that you want, um, if you want to select everything, you can put a little box around it too, and you can name this set. And then if you want, you can use the color as well. So if you color the whole thing in there and then you can, so you can minimize it into one just node, um, if you want. So there's a few options, however you want to set it up to be able to, uh, make it feel right for you, easy to visually uh, see things, um, and decide how you want to lay out your nodes uh, in here. So next we're going to take a look at getting some animation onto this. Um, and I'm going to take a look at a file that I've already set up because this isn't about how to animate, it's about how to animate in Houdini. And we can take a look um, of how we can get uh, Electra into uh, the scene sitting on the uh, chair and standing up.